what's up you guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be testing out some new Huda Beauty releases I'm really excited you guys this is one of those collections that I saw and in that rare moment I was like yes I need these in my life I need to try these out like immediately and then I purchased them and if you've been following me for a while you know I don't normally do that I do buy a lot and I do shop a lot but I don't normally buy new releases and pay close to full price I think I got like a 10% discount or something like that but there are some times where something intrigues me so much that I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So I ended up picking up three products from Huda Beauty. We're going to be testing them all out today, trying them on, seeing how they wear, and I will be doing a wear test. I don't know how long it's gonna be. This is a Saturday. Um, it's 12.55 right now, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just now getting ready because I have been busting my ass all week working. The good news is, though, is that I normally stay up pretty late. I'm expecting to probably do, well, I'm trying to think, though, because I really want to dye my hair. I'll probably do an update around, like, 10 or 11 at night, so that'll give you a good eight to nine hour wear. Okay, and we'll at least see how it's holding up. So I have three products. The first one that we're gonna talk about is the Glowish Multi-Dew Skin Tint. I also picked up the Nymph Glaze and the Soft Radiance uh, Glowish Bronzing Powder. We're gonna be using both of these today as well. I did haul these in a video. That video is not up yet, or it might be. I don't know, because I'm like, I'm actually on top of my game right now, but I filmed all of those hauls when, you know, like, because I'm redoing my house and everything. Filmed all those hauls way in advance, and now here we are. Anyways, um, I prepped my skin. I did do most of my eye makeup. I still need to do like mascara and things like that. I used the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette, but now we are going to do face makeup. I'm going to focus on these three products on camera. I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera, but I will show you the finished look and everything. And then at the end of this, we will have a check-in. Okay, I did my hair today using the Beach Waver. I saw it on TikTok and I got it, and you guys, it is so good. It like auto spins everything. I freaking love it. Okay, so this is the Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint. I got the shade O2 Fair Light. It's 1.35 fluid ounces of products. It retails for $37. This is supposed to be a radiant moisture packed skin tint that instantly brightens your complexion and blurs pores for a soft focus dewy finish. Perfect for the ultimate no makeup makeup look. The sheer coverage illuminates your complexion and the light reflective pearl pigments effortlessly enhance your natural beauty. So this is not supposed to be a full coverage product. That is normally what I go for. However, I really like glowy products and I really like like illuminated skin. I kind of, I've, I'm using some glowy skincare right now so I feel like I kind of have that, but I'm excited to give this a try. And this is a decent amount of product for the price. I mean $37 is kind of up there in price, but you get over an ounce of product. So you get more than like a regular like foundation or skin tint. So I have a beauty blender. I've used this twice and like it just gets stained really fast, but this is what I'm gonna end up using today, you guys. I like the pump of this too. It doesn't seem to like lock at all, but the pump comes out really nicely and I love the fact that this is in a tube. Is that a good shade match? You guys gotta tell me, okay? Is that a good shade match? It's interesting to me that, and I mean like I'm sure there's science behind it and I'm sure if I actually like sat down and thought about it, um, I'd be able to figure it out, but I feel like we never really see a lot of glowy products in full coverage methods, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's always the skin tints or something along those lines that end up being like the really nice glow products. Okay, I actually like this shade match. Like from what I can see in my lighting, so I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but I like that. And that is super duper glowy. That looks so pretty. I like that so much. If you guys wear earrings, how do you blend around your ears? Because I feel like I just get my earrings caked in foundation and I always hate that, but I don't know like, is there something that I'm just completely missing in that regard? I really like this. I think this looks so nice. I really do. It's so pretty and I really do think it looks nice on the skin. Like it gives me, it's giving me this beautiful, healthy glow. And I feel like this is one of those products, if you aren't looking for like a glow, you probably wouldn't like because this is glow. Um, yes. So, so far, I love this. This is amazing. I'm going to do my concealer really quick and then we have a cream highlight to do and then I'm going to do my uh, powder and then we have a bronzer to do and then I'm going to finish everything up. It's confusing. Let's go. Okay, I did concealer and honestly too, the coverage of this is not 
that bad. Like, I was expecting way lighter coverage because it's a tint. But you guys, like, you can see my freckles a little bit kind of peeking through. But the coverage is really not that bad. I, it's way better than I thought it was going to be, which is interesting. Because I feel like with skin tints, this is a little bit more than a tint, in my opinion. But that's awesome, because if you like a little bit fuller coverage, but you still want this, it might work for you. It's not full coverage, but I'd say like medium-ish. Like this is what I would consider medium-ish. Like this is good, I like this. I did my concealer, we're gonna do the um, highlight now. So this is the Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze Skin Glowing Perfector in the shade Luna. This is what it looks like. The packaging is stunning. I have swatched it. I have not tried it like on my face though. I did swatch it. It's beautiful. Again, packaging stunning. I love it. This retails for $35. It comes in three different shades. I got the shade Luna, which is a soft champagne with gold and silver shimmer, suitable for fair to light skin tones. And this is a multifunctional solid cream skin perfector that instantly boosts radiance for that lit from within effect. You can use as a pre-makeup base or apply to the high points of your face for a natural soft sheen. So obviously I'll be using this as a highlight, not as like a makeup base, but that is interesting. Like, could you imagine the glow using this as a makeup base? Just to give you an idea, I'm gonna have to try that one of these days. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram reel of me trying that because um, I am kind of interested in that. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this. My only gripe with this is there's no mirror. Normally, that doesn't bother me, but just for the sake of filming, it is a little bit inconvenient, but that's okay. We will prevail. Okay. So one of the best tricks that I've learned for applying highlight is literally if you turn your face, you can kind of see where the light hits, and that's where the highlight should go. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm really regretting now not doing like this bright gold look for my eyeshadow because I feel like that would have been super pretty too. Just, you know, have a glow moment. And I will say I'm going to go like back over with a blender, but this does blend like pretty easily. Okay, I am loving this. Um, I will bring you guys in a little bit closer and show you like how the whole face looks. But like, see, you can kind of see some of my freckles, right? But it's so just this gorgeous natural glow. I really like that though. I think it looks so pretty. And I love just because it's not like over the top, I guess, right? It really does just look like this very nice, healthy, natural glow. And I love that. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. We have one product left to try out. I need to go set this a little bit, I think. I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm going to be back in just a second to do bronzer. You know what I just realized? I never used a primer. I had one set out and everything. Uh, got so excited to do this video that I never actually used it. <laughs> so we'll really see how well this can wear. Okay, uh, okay. I use the Bite Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder in Light as my powder. And I literally, like, I didn't buff it in or anything. I literally just, like, pressed it into my skin. And I feel like that glow is still there. So very good. I'm loving that. This is the Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in Medium. Oh, my goodness. First of all, the packaging. I love this so much. And then look at just how stunning is this. I... I'm a really big sucker for bronzers, which is interesting because I feel like I have like the least bronzers in my collection. Like I've got so many highlights and blushes and things like that. But bronzers, like really nice ones, get me so excited and this is gorgeous. This retails for $31. It comes in five shades. I got mine in 02 medium. And this is a radiance boosting bronzer that will instantly get you glowing. Beautifully buildable and so easy to use. It lends all skin tones a natural looking tan warming your complexion with luminosity. The light as air non-powdery texture applies like silk and blends so seamlessly, we swear it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. Okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to try this out kind of like as a contour, like as a light kind of putting it where I would normally put contour and then I'll probably kind of blend it to the rest of my face. I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna use it yet. I do know I'm gonna use the Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder. I love this for like br contoury bronzer products. That looks so light on the brush. Oh, okay, tap off the excess. Ooh, 
And so I'm one of those people, I know a lot of people don't like agree with this, but I'm one of those people I really like. Uh, I, I like matte contours and matte bronzers and things like that, but I don't mind slash like the um, more like radiant bronzers, bronzers with blush in them, bronzers with like a hint of shimmer. And yeah, I do contour with those sometimes because I feel like it really lends just this really pretty shift to your face that you can't get with like many other products. I'm just gonna do it really lightly. Under my bottom lip is like my new favorite place to put bronzer. And I feel like if you have like a bronzer with shimmer, it's kind of even better because it looks a little like both bronzer and highlight, right? This one doesn't have like legitimate shimmer in it, so like don't think it is. It has that because I keep, just because I keep talking about it because I'm just crazy. This is gorgeous though. I am loving like this whole thing. And this is why I feel like I'm learning enough about myself that I'm having a little bit of an easier time figuring out which products I actually would be like interested in without wasting a bunch of money on product. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm just learning enough about myself that I have a good idea on the products that like I would be okay with paying full price for. I love this so much. Okay, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. I will be right back to show you the fully finished look once I get blush on. I probably am not gonna put any more highlight on because this is beautiful and I wanna see how this wears by itself with super minimal powder over it. So let me go finish that up. Let me finish up my eyes, my lips and everything and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am obsessed. Seriously, I am so obsessed. I cannot believe just everything about this look I love. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that I did my eyes the way that I did because I really like just how the whole thing comes together. I did set my makeup. I used the Too Faced Hangover RX from my most recent Shop My Stash. That probably won't be my most recent when this video goes up eventually, but I did use that to set everything so you kind of know what we're working with and I didn't use any face primer. Um, I love this so much though. I cannot remember the last time that I have ever been like this excited about makeup where I've ever been like oh my god this is my new favorite combo this looks so good do you know what I mean and it's one of those things where when you spend so much time around makeup and you do so much with makeup it's hard like you eventually get to the point where less and less excites you this is exciting to me so I will be back in a few hours it is 1 25 right now I will be back in a few hours um, probably around like 10 or 11 and I will give you guys an update on how well this is wearing but can we just appreciate this moment please thank you that's all um, yeah so I will be back soon and I'll catch you guys then all right you guys it is 10 3 I'm watching organization videos on YouTube because I'm going to be doing my closet really soon so here we go um, okay it held up really nicely, I think. Like, obviously, there is a little bit of wear. I put my hands on my face all day long. I know it's terrible. I, there's nothing I could do to stop it. Um, I was out in the heat today. It's Arizona, guys. It's fucking hot. Fucking hot. I went grocery shopping. I didn't do, like, a whole lot of, like, sweating or anything like that. But I do feel like it held up pretty well, considering the fact, again, that this is a tint. I really like how it held up. Obviously, my lipstick is completely gone, but we weren't testing that today. Can I just say, though, this highlight <laughs> lasted so well. It's still there. It still looks so good. The skin tint itself, pretty good. The bronzer slash contour, I mean, honestly, I'm really happy with it. This is probably one of my favorite makeup testings that I've ever done. It is phenomenal. I so highly recommend it. So everything will be linked down below, obviously. If you've tried any of these three products, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to get you guys' thoughts. I am absolutely obsessed. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure you give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button. If you'd like to see more from me, there is a closet declutter and organization coming soon. And I'll catch you all next time. Have a great one. Good night.